Well, isn't that pretty? At least it's pretty to look at. Because <laughs> it's not pretty to be in. No, it's not. <laughs> and you can't really tell the season, you know, right now right. with a shot like that. You know, it looks like it could be summer, but we all know it's not. <laughs> like I can hear you saying, all right, get your sunscreen ready. <laughs> yeah. We're going to head to the beach, but not today. <laughs> beach chairs, pack a lunch, yeah. not happening. I uh, was hoping to get this one up there. looks like we lost half of the image. This is the Kenny Bunk Cape Porpoise area. Maybe I'll give it a couple more seconds to see if it comes in fully, but there's some great color on the horizon right now. Nope, we'll move on to Keyser Lake. Boy, this does look like the season, right? Looks like winter settling in. A lot of gray, no leaves on the trees on the other side of the lake. If you look at the tops of the hills there on the other side, they're snow covered. And if you look very closely on the lake, you can see some lake smoke. That's because the air temperature is so cold compared to the water temp. Although if we keep getting mornings like this, we're going to get a little skim of ice on the top of there real soon, huh? Temps are in the teens. Hasn't been this cold since March earlier this year. 17 degrees in Portland, 15 in Lewiston, and you've got teens all the way up through the mountains. No one's in the single digits, and I don't see single digits in eastern northern Maine either. If anything, it might be a degree or two milder in eastern Maine. 20 coastline, 21 Millinocket. There's a little wind still keeping the atmosphere stirred. But Bangor 17 and Dover Foxcroft, 14 degrees. We are this close to warming things up. Milder air through the lakes and beyond. Look at Kansas City 61. We won't get that, but we'll get that 50 that Chicago has right now. Here's the warm front. It's snaking through New York State and southern New England. Out ahead of it, quite a bit of cloud cover. So I do expect, unfortunately, the sun that we have now to start fading away. And it's the type of cloud cover, thin clouds, cirrus clouds, that could give us some halos this morning or later this afternoon you know, a little filtered sun and you get that ring around the sun. It's kind of a cool sight. So keep looking up every once in a while. You might see a halo or two at some point during the day. You also might see a flake or two at some point during the middle of the day. Now down by the coastline and up north and in the mountains, there'll be a period of light snow, but it won't amount to much. End of the day, pretty quiet. A little bit of a southwest breeze here keeps that brisk feel going. So it's not going to feel warm at all today. There's your snow map up to an inch mountains far northern Maine. little tracking snow for hunters. Uh, won't be any tracking snow southbound through Bangor, Waterville, Augusta, Lewiston or Portland. Just a flurry if you're lucky. Most won't even see that. Here are your highs today. Normally 47 and we're coming up short, almost 10 degrees short along the coastline, upper 30s and then mid 30s inland, low 30s up north. And again, that southwest breeze will be more active and busy this afternoon. It'll feel cold tomorrow. It won't. It'll actually be a lot milder 50 to 55. And even though we get a cold front to come through on Saturday, this is a polar front, not the Arctic front. So the air behind it actually isn't bad either. With brightening skies, we'll hit 50 to 55 again. However, Sunday, the Arctic front does slide south and we're only getting up to about 40 on Sunday, but that's just mild enough so that when the next system moves in with its precipitation, it's going to be wet and not white. It looks like we get rain here on Monday. Here's the marine forecast. Gale watches are up for tonight and tomorrow. Seas three to five feet. Southwest winds gusty. Partly to mostly cloudy, a flurry possible 35 to 40 and then warmer for Friday and Saturday. We'll have a mix of sunshine and clouds both days. We're hitting the 50s. Colder on Sunday, high only around 40 with increasing clouds. A little rain on Monday and then colder for Tuesday and Wednesday. Some people will be on the roads during this time, getting to loved one's house or having friends or family come to you. And it looks like it should be pretty smooth sailing, at least leading up to Thanksgiving. Okay. We'll see about the day itself. See how he left something off there? Yeah, sure. we'll see about the day itself coming <laughs> All right. up.